Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option. Well, all the trim levels of the 2018 Cadillac Escalade. We're going to build all the trim levels. We're going to look over everything. Um, we're going to go over the highlights, the features, the galleries, the trim, the specs. And then, of course, let me move this a little bit. Let me click over here. And then we'll do the build and price as well. We can see right off the bat that this car, that this uh, SUV starts at just under 75000 I just got done doing the 2018 Lincoln Navigator, which starts basically at the same price. I'm going to put a link up because you might be interested in that Lincoln Navigator as well. Uh, <clears throat> one thing before we start, I forgot to mention it. If you find this video helpful or entertaining or both, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to grow. All right, um, so let's take a look here. So this vehicle has a V8 engine putting out 428 horsepower. It's got a 10-speed transmission, and it seats up to eight people. Um, the Lincoln can do has a 10-speed transmission. The Lincoln has eight passengers or can seat up to eight people, but it has more horsepower. And it does it in a V6, in a 3.5 liter V6. It has more horsepower. And we haven't gotten to what, where the torque is on this vehicle yet, but it's got more torque too. So just something worth noting. Uh, the interior on this is beautiful. I think this is called the Kona, this color. And it is just gorgeous. Ambition on a grand scale, iconic design, innovative tech and craftsmanship, elevated to a higher degree. The 2018 Cadillac Escalade it is beautiful. I really like the, that those seats. Um, let's see. It's got uh, class-exclusive magnetic ride control. It makes big feel small with automatic parking assist. Um, what do we got here? Bold power. It's got a 6.2-liter V8 putting out 428 horsepower and 468 pound-feet or 460 pound-feet of torque. Like I said. The Navigator, the brand new Navigator, which has a 3.5 liter V6, puts out more horse and quite a bit more torque. Quite a bit more torque. Like I said, uh, check that one out. Check that video out. Um, all right. This car won what? The 2018 Consumer's Guide Automotive Best Buy for four years now. All right. Um, the SUV with sophistication, strength, style, explore all features. We're going to do that in a second. We just want to get through this page. Um, so the interior, that's basically the same interior shot, but this is the platinum trim that's shown. Uh, interior color availability may vary based on trim level and packages selected. So this is jet black with jet black accents. Let me scroll up a little bit. Um, this is jet black with uh, jet black accents as well. All right, it's just showing another angle. And then we've got the maple sugar and then maple sugar from another view. And then what do we have for exterior? All right, so we got exterior colors. There is a radiant silver, black raven, midnight sky, dark granite, bronze dune, like that one, dark um, I'm not going to butcher that. It's a blue. <laughs> Crystal white. We've got a red passion and a satin steel. My favorite one for sure is the bronze dune. Um, let's see. Escalade and trim levels. All right, here we go. This is good. This could save us doing some stuff. So, standard. We've got standard, luxury, premium luxury, and platinum. So, there's four trim levels on these things. Um... Standard features, standard Escalade features include that engine, magnetic ride control, the Cadillac user experience, right? Uh, functionality varies by model. Full effect functionality requires compatible Bluetooth and smartphone and USB connectivity for some devices. Uh, the cat, the Q system, that's their, that's their infotainment. So depend, obviously the infotainment, maybe the Q system, say for instance, on the Platinum is obviously going to be better than the one on the Escalade. I guess that's probably what they're meaning. Automatic parking assist, but we'll get through that as we go through the trims because we're going to build and price each one. Um, automatic parking assist, surround vision, bird's eye view of vehicle, heated and cool front seating, and heated second row seating, 20-inch dual 7-spoke chrome wheels. That's the standard at seventy-five grand, basically. Another five grand, more or less. Uh, you get all of this over here in the standard, but now you also get the driver awareness package, the rear camera mirror, the
the color head up display okay that's cool you don't have to go all the way up here to get to the heads up display uh, the theft deterrent package power tilt sliding sunroof and now you bump up to 22 inch wheels that's a significant jump um, so for basically five grand more that's a lot that's a nice deal I'm kind of light I'm feeling the luxury like in the luxury uh, now the premium luxury about another five grand more ish uh, now that includes what the driver assistance package the front LED cornering lamps the rear seat entertainment system the illuminated door handles and you still get what those same wheels so it gets all of this stuff that's over here plus these and then the platinum you basically get everything the platinum gets everything it gets the semi aniline leather the power retractable assist steps right that's where the assist comes down right here like the step to help you get in the vehicle ingress and egress uh, exclusive grill design it says 18 way adjustable seats for driver and front passenger with massage leather wrapped instrument panel nice console and upper door trim uh, suede microfiber headliner and door pillar trim uh, front console compartment cooled with covered storage and this gets a set of exclusive 22 inch wheels all right um, that's very cool let's jump over to features um, and let's kind of see now if you're not sure ESV just means the long wheelbase uh, long wheelbase version if you're not sure what uh, ESV is so made for comfort stunning craftsmanship yeah 12-way power adjustable front seats four-way power lumbar front seats three zone climate control so that means the driver has a climate control the passenger has a climate control and then the occupants behind them have a pa uh, individual climate control there we can see the heads up right there so this has to be at least what the uh what was that the luxury trim um so they're giving you a lot look at the speakers beautiful 16 inch or 16 speaker bose center point system um uh, crystal clear sound while acoustic front glass triple sealed doors Bose, uh, Bose active noise cancellation quietest escalate ever uh, handcrafted materials uh, every detail attended to our designers and craftsmen have curated the finest natural materials including authentic wood trims and leather appointments I sounds good to me I like these vehicles um, crystal clear vision right striking full LED headlamps uh, frame the bowl signature grill featuring five stack crystals with available LED cornering lamps available means it's not standard uh, the project light into curves as you turn and that is a nice feature I've driven a Cadillac with that feature that when you turn there's like these lights that turn so in the evening it's very nice when it illuminates around the corner quite nice um, what do we got now cutting edge illumination I was just talking about illumination full LED light blade tail lamps emit thin blades of light that give the Escalade an unmistakable signature at night uh, 22 inch polished wheels uh, power assist steps those little steps um, hands free uh, lift gate all you gotta do is put your foot under there uh, invisible rear wiper because it tucks up underneath um, uh, the rear design under this little uh, what is that roof spoiler I guess uh, concierge lighting available concierge lighting includes LEDs in the door handles power assist steps and interior providing clear illumination upon exit and approach uh, as far as performance they've got the new 10 speed it's an all new delivers near instantaneous shifts for smooth acceleration and optimal power in any gear all right uh what else what about the v8 what are they going to tell us about that v8 all right well we know those numbers uh i'm i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not impressed because well i've already done the lincoln navigator and it's got a lot more performance than that um and then let's talk about that magnetic ride control uh it reads the road up to a thousand times per second and automatically does what it adjusts the road surfaces and weather conditions four-wheel drive get power where you need it most you can shift between two-wheel drive four-wheel drive high four-wheel drive low and auto to manage the road ahead stability track what's that all about uh, selectively applies braking pressure to any one of the vehicle wheel uh, to assist the driver in keeping the wheel or the vehicle in the intended path I think they call that yaw yawing or something like that ready for the long haul 
I said it on the navigate in the navigator video, and I'm going to say it in this video. If you've got yourself your ninety-three thousand uh, dollar, because surely this is the platinum one they've got shown, you're not going to probably be towing a boat in with your hundred thousand uh, dollar Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> That's the whole thing. All right, so technology, automatic park assist, uh, automatically steers your vehicle, moving at idle speed into a detected parallel or perpendicular parking spot while the driver brakes and selects the appropriate gear. I think that's neat. Rear camera mirror. The available rear camera mirror. It's not standard. Uh, streams rear-facing HD video that provides a wider, less obstructed field of view than a traditional rear-view camera. I've had an opportunity to use this, this rear-view uh, mirror in real time. I touched drove a Cadillac CT6 uh, eight months ago or so. And it had that. It's interesting. It takes a little getting used to. Uh, tell us about the infotainment. The Q. Okay. Connects you with the world around you to make driving easier, more enjoyable, and more connected. Entertainment. Apps. Maps. Weather. Music. More. Connected. Navigation. With real-time traffic updates. And then, of course, you got Apple CarPlay. You got Android Auto. Uh, do we need to learn more on that? They don't uh, navigate the world. Yeah. We'll just quickly, quickly, right? Then you've got the iPhone, Apple CarPlay stuff, uh, a dash of personality, quickly navigate, save locations. You can save radio stations, save apps. Okay. I just want to check that out real quick. I'm real big on the tech. I think it's really important in this day and age. I like to know what tech cars have. I want to know it all, but I really want to know about the tech. Okay. And they're going to show us the Apple CarPlay here. Um, and this is a pretty cool feature. It doesn't pull up every app. This is about the menu, but it's going to pull up your phone. It's going to pull up your music. I use the maps for this uh, versus the, the, the car's navigation. It's faster, easier. Um, I love the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto integration into vehicles now, so I'm always looking at the tech. Uh, what else? Remote start. The My Cadillac app allows you to remote start your Cadillac from virtually anywhere. You have service. Okay. Uh, wireless charging, heads up display, Cadillac built in Wi Fi. I was just getting ready to start talking about that. So it's already got, it's a, available. Okay. So it's not standard. 4G LTE built in Wi Fi lets you connect up to seven devices. Well, that's a pretty good number. I'm pretty, I think the Navigator with something they had had a little bit more. I don't know what they're built in though. I think the Navigator one, the one that had more than maybe seven devices with some extra something or another you gotta check that video out uh so it gets uh da, 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 da. okay cool uh surround vision surround vision surround vision provides a bird's view camera uh, uh around the car all right that's cool i like that we won't read the whole thing lane keep assist now this is cool um with lane departure warning helps you stay in your driving lane i think that stuff is cool for collision alert is cool that's available. It's not standard. Lane keep assist, not standard. Uh, surround vision, that is standard because it doesn't say available, right? You got to always look for that word available. Uh, and then adaptive cruise control, surely available. Yeah. All right. So the reason why we want to look through all this stuff before we jump into the build your own is because when I get ready to build each individual vehicle i want to just i want to know everything so i know what we can live with and without you know with each vehicle right you get the base model you're probably not going to try to throw everything at it nor will everything at it be available all right so safety alert seat what does this do uh the available safety alert seat uh, seat sends a discrete pulse to the left right or both sides of the driver's seat indicating the direction of potential danger the lanes change alert with side blind zone right that's kind of self-explanatory forward and reverse automatic braking uh can automatically engage your brakes when it senses a potential front end or rear end collision and the driver has not already applied the brakes all right cool uh and then the platinum the platinum the ultimate escalade uh what does it do it takes it to a whole new heights power retractable assist steps 22 inch we already looked at the trim so we already understand massage while you drive we kind of read about that infotainment entertainment for all um here's my question on this with this infotainment it was the same thing i said in the navigator video 
you know, with the, it's 2018 now. You're not going to just put DVDs in for the kids. They want to stream YouTube and do all that stuff. Does this stuff stream that kind of... Can you stream your phone? Can you stream Wi-Fi? Can you stream Netflix? Can you do all that stuff? They don't say. If, if you can, I think it makes that entertainment system worth it if you're looking for something like that. If it can't do that, then I don't think you should spend your money on it. I mean, now, granted, if you got the Platinum, I think it already comes with it. But if it can't do it, we're going to find out, then I don't think it's worth it. Cold drinks on the go. All right, center console uh, is a cool, uh, cooler. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can chill up to six 20-ounce bottles for drinks that are always cold, even on the go. The Radiant Package uh, shine brighter. What do you get? Upgrade your Escalade with a stylish grill. Uh, in mesh, you can see like little mesh in between there. 22 inch wheels, they're gonna obviously be different than the platinums and stuff. Uh, a highly polished exhaust tip just hanging way down there. Okay, uh, and then we already went over these trim levels. So, you know what? Let's jump over to the gallery real fast and let's just kind of scroll through the photos. Now, see, this looks real old school to me. And if this is if this is what it looks like, that's a big disappointment because, well, I see a USB right there. I see USB. Okay, so it might have something going on. We need to find out a little bit more about that tech. The seats are beautiful, aren't they, in Kona? A lot of space back there, of course. But surely they're showing the ESV trim. Um, looks good. There's that wireless charging. Um looks beautiful there's let's get some exterior photos i think these are the wheels on the platinum right they're showing the platinum this one's not the platinum but the platinum gets a different set of wheels i could i could just tell that's a platinum for sure that they're showing in most of these photos right not this one right surely that one all right uh let's go over to trims just double check make sure we're getting through everything so key features right Going over here to the standard again, I think it's worth noting. I just kind of want to scroll down. Everywhere there's a checkbox, that's standard, right? This is the base model. So I want to know absolutely what comes on the base model. Because for a lot of folks, you might be able to live with the base model or one step up, right? So I'm only looking in this column. I'm not really looking at the rest of them because I want to know what's the bare minimum these things come with. So the 10 speed. The magnetic ride, the 16 speakers. So you already got the good stereo. You got heated and cool seats, surround vision camera, no sunroof, no rear camera mirror, no heads up, no IntelliBeam headlights. Uh, you do get the driver awareness. No, you don't. No driver awareness package. Uh, okay, so all the rest of the good stuff just kind of fades away. But you get a decent amount of stuff. I mean, it is $75,000 after all. All right, so. Let's look at specs really fast. Let's look at specs really fast. All right, that's awesome. Perfect. Escalade, we're not going to do anything in two-wheel drive. We want to do a four-wheel drive, and I guess we just do the Escalade. That's base, right? That's the base, but with four-wheel drive. So we can see all that stuff that was standard. The rear camera thing is not available in, on this car. The driver awareness package, not available. And, and that's not surprising. You have to bump up trim levels. That's the way these work. Um... The rear seat entertainment is not available. But let's hit the info, because is it going to tell us maybe something we might want to know? 9-inch diagonal screen, DVD, Blu-ray with remote control, uh, HDMI, HML, USB, uh, streaming available through HDMI and Digital Living Network. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. So if you're looking for that, then at least it's, it's worth something. At least it's worth something, because you can stream. All right, so that's not available in this car, and, and none of those other things are available. I'm just going to kind of scroll down. If you need me to stop, you can just pause the video momentarily. All right, let's go back. I think we're ready to build. I think we've looked through enough. Now, we could go look at the Platinum in and of itself individually. Do we really need to? I don't think so. Um, I really don't think so, because... We know that the way Cadillac does it is they're going to give you everything in the Platinum. So let's just go ahead and jump over to the build. <clears throat> all right. So all the builds we're going to do with four-wheel drive. We've already gone through all the standard features and all that stuff, so we don't need to go through that anymore. We're going to start at this one. And here's how it's going to work. So I'm going to, I'm going to, 
we've got four of them to go through. The Escalade, the Luxury, the Premium Luxury, and then the Platinum. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to build each one. And then the way these work is when you get to the Summary page, after you go through and select all your options and colors and all that, then you can download your build as a PDF. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download each build as a PDF. And then I'm going to upload that build to my uh, my site that I use for sharing my uh, sharing these PDF files. It's called Mediafire. It's a very popular uh, uh, file sharing site. And so I'll, that gives me a link. And I'm going to put the links to these PDFs in the description below. So if you like the specs on any of these, you can find them in the description below. All right. So with that said, let's jump into the Escalade. Uh, standard trim level build all right so I've got that one selected we're gonna do four-wheel drive I see no point in having an SUV and it's not four-wheel drive I think that's ridiculous let's look through these photos really quick okay uh, let's get some interior photos really quick all right just so that's a nice shot there that's beautiful as a matter of fact all right let's move on to colors I'm not going to spend a lot of time on colors because we got four levels to go through, four vehicles to go through. Uh, I usually like the lighter colors, especially on these big vehicles, because uh, they show a lot of scratches and squirrel marks. And if you want yours to look gorgeous all the time, probably stick with a lighter color. Right? The black does look cool, but it's a lot of work. That's the problem with that. Oops, cancel. So I'm just going to like, uh, I said I like that bronze dune. It's a, it's a 625 add-on. Let's go with the bronze dune. Um, I like the black interior. I'm not feeling the, uh, what do they call it? The shale. I don't like the shale. So we're going to go, we're going to stick with the jet black leather seating surfaces. All right. Next step, packages. That radiant package, we read about that. All it is is an appearance package. Do we want to spend $3,100? Well, probably for the buyer who buys the standard version. Well, maybe you do. But then at the end of the day, you do that. Now you're over $80,000. You might as well get yourself a premium, right? So the goal on this one is just to try to make sure we don't leave anything important out on this one, right? The Radiant package, it's cool. But at this price point for this vehicle, I think we can live without it. The interior protection package, however, that's worth it. What do you need? You All-weather floor mats for first, second, and third row all-weather cargo mat right show more what else do they have all right that's it but that's enough it's only 250 that's a good upgrade right protect your investment right yeah we want it we'll also change the following da, 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 da. and yeah got it okay so there we are uh let's go over to exterior and then they have like <laughs> a boogaggle of wheel options and expensive ones at that so, you know, hmm, hmm, hmm. But, you know, as soon as we check one of these, it's going to put us right where we need to, right at the $80,000 mark. And I'm not necessarily trying to do budget builds, but I just think that the buyer for this vehicle isn't going to, well, you know what, let's, for, let's, let's forget that. What about this? Oh, this comes with that package. That's why it has no price. That comes with that one package that was $3,100. I don't think... I don't think I want to spend the money on the wheels. I don't think I want to spend the money on the wheels. We don't need an engine block heater. The car is not going to be outside. Do we need the performance brakes upgrade system? You know what? Here's the deal. I like that. I like it. We're going to price that out on, on some other options. The wheel locks? No, we don't need the wheel locks. Uh, the molded splash guards? Yeah, we need the splash guards. Do we need the integrated roof rack rails? I don't. I wouldn't personally use them, so we're gonna skip out on that. Uh, do note that any of these things that we're going over, these little pieces, these are all you can get at the parts counter at your at your dealer. So you can get these at any time. Uh, oh, you can get the grill individual. Okay, you can get the grill individually. You know, if I were to option out, you know what? Let's 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 do this the way I would like to do it. I think these wheels look interesting. Well, no, I don't. Let's take that back. Let's let's look at these mm. well none of them are really that nice though that's the whole thing but they are 22s and see that's pretty a cheap price because that's going to come with tires on it after you buy the vehicle you'll never get them at this price again so now's a good time to option it out let's 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 see what these look like let's see what these look like let's see those aren't attractive that looks like a gmc 
We're not even getting a good photo. All right, can we get back to the beginning? How about here? All right, there we go. What about here? Can we get one that's just straight? Hang on. All right, what about this one? Okay, let's just do that one. All right, how about this wheel? How about that wheel? What does this wheel look like? For three grand, they're not really, they're not attractive. That's the whole thing. For three grand, they're not attractive. You know what? Let's go back. Let's get the Radiant package. Let's get the Radiant package, right? Everybody's got to have something. You got to doll it up. So now you might have the base model, but now you got the base model dolled up, okay? And now we have the good wheels because those other wheels were ugly, and then I had committed to now I wanted the wheels. So now we got these good wheels. We don't need the engine block heater. Do we need the upgraded brakes? <sighs> I like the upgraded brakes. Let's get the upgraded brakes. Let's forget price points, okay? Let's go with our heart. That's what these cars are all about anyway, aren't they? All right, so we got the upgraded brakes. We got the appearance package. We got to get the wheel locks, man. Got to throw the wheel locks on there. Oh, forget it. Oh, maybe this package already comes with that. And if it doesn't, surely you can get some aftermarket wheel locks if you really need to. Um, front license plate bracket. I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, the roof rack thing. I'm not doing it. It's got the Q, Cadillac user experience. It's got the front uh, seats with the leather seating surfaces, second row bucket seats, right? Uh, we don't want the bench seat. We don't. This is the, this is the bucket seat. The bench seat would add one more seat here, and then it'd be seating for eight. We don't need that. The headrest mounted dual DVD system? Nah, we don't need that. Uh, we got the all weather floor mat package. That's included. We got that. We're good. The front window shade, we're, we don't need that. All-weather cargo mat, no. Organizers, nah. This is all stuff, like I said, you can get at the parts department in the, at the dealership. And we don't need any of this stuff. So let's go over to accessories. That's usually nothing. I don't plan on doing any towing. We're not going to get into the hitch stuff. So we're going to skip over all these little accessories that you can put on the outside of your, of your vehicle. And then these electronics things, they're always funny because... General Motors always does this stuff, and it's not it's not vehicle specific. So all these electronics, it's really nothing. So we're gonna skip over all those electronics, and and what's this exterior? So we've got chrome hand door handles, gloss black license. Let's do the chrome door handles. I like that. Let's do that because uh, this is a luxury SUV. Mirror caps, but they're not chrome or anything. Molded appliques, no. Uh, stainless steel rocker panels. What is this all about? What's that all about? Stainless steel rocker panels by Putco. Long-lasting materials designed to... No, this is some aftermarket... No, we're going to skip all that. Vehicle protection. Underbody skid plate? Yeah, that sounds like something I like. Underbody skid plate. Help protect the underside of your vehicle from road debris that can harm key mechanical components. Yup, we're getting that. That's a smart buy. Performance. Oh, yeah. We're in it. Uh, you can get a 6.2 liter carbon fiber intake and plenum cover set uh, by Borla. Oh, enhanced underhood appearance. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. I'm into the performance stuff. Come on. Engine covers. Uh, well, that doesn't say performance, though. That doesn't say increased horsepower. Let's go. Let's go with the performance exhaust system, though. Let's do that. What does that tell us? It's a, it's a Borla catback exhaust system. Cool. That's going to have a nice throaty sound. That add a little bit of incremental performance. Uh, exhaust system upgrade performance tips, right? Bright performance tips. Now, if we change the tips, is that going to remove our that ex, no, it doesn't remove that exterior package. We got that that bright work package we got. Okay. So we got the exhaust tip upgrade cuz they're in chrome and I just think that looks good. They're the tips by Borla. Um, and then the rest of this is, uh, we could skip over all that trailering stuff. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of the waxes or anything. Let's go to summary. So this thing started at 77000 Uh We paid an extra six and six twenty five for that color we wanted. The, brun the bronze metallic or the dune, what was it called? Bronze dune metallic with the jet black leather seating surfaces. We got uh, a couple of packages. We did that uh, all-weather floor mat. We did the interior protection package and then that radiant package. I said, forget it, man. We're buying cars at eighty at seventy 
thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars anyway. We're gonna buy with our heart, and so I want mine to look this way, and so that's how we're gonna do it. So we got the radiant package as well. Uh, we spent got some few options. We got the upgraded brakes. Why? Because it's a huge vehicle, and it needs all the stopping power it can get. And for a three grand, yeah, I like it. It's smart. Uh, we got the splash guards. Um, and that's really about it. That's really about it. This thing came to 83960 So like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this off. We're going to go back and build another one. All right? So let's do that. Okay, got that one saved. So let's go back to trims. Okay, let's go back to trims. All right, well, hang on a second. Let's... Uh... Okay, we're back to trims. I didn't see the page move. So here we are back to the base model. That's the one we just built. So now let's go take a look at the luxury. Now, to just to refresh your memory. Yeah, we're going to reset everything. We know that. Just to refresh your memory. All right. Uh, this is going to include 22-inch wheels standard, right? I ended up buying that extra, that extra appearance package just to get the big 22-inch wheels. It's not a bad deal because it looks good. Right, and that's the Escalade's all about bling. But this one already comes with 22-inch wheels, and it has the driver uh, awareness package uh, that includes all of this. All right, so let's jump into this build. It's going to be four-wheel drive. It's still selected. It comes with that same engine. Right, as far as colors, we I still like the bronze dune. That's going to be my my color for all the builds. Uh, no, now I like that Kona brown interior. I really like that Kona leather. Let's take a look at that. It's going to show us. I really like that. It's worth the two grand to me. Um, so we're going to move on to that. It just wasn't an option in the other package in the base model. Now, this Radiant package in this car is about $1,000 less. So we're going to do that because that's attractive. I like that. It's attractive. So we're going to do that Radiant package. Um, we're going to do that interior protection package. Because we need that. We need those mats and everything to keep everything looking good. Um, let's move on. So wheel selection now we don't have to mess with. Uh, we're going to do that in that brake upgrade. I just think it's smart. I think it's smart. We know that it won't allow us to do the wheel locks. It's going to want to remove. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do the black molded splash guards, right, to help protect that paint from road uh, tar and whatnot that kicks up on it. Uh, we're gonna stick with the bench or with the with the pass through seat. We're not gonna do a bench seat. I don't think I'd want to do the rear seat entertainment. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, the head mounted dual DVD and in the base model they didn't even give us this option to even do this particular one. It was just the ones that were in the seats. So that one's interesting. I just. I guess it just depends on if you have little ones and, and how much of that is going to really be required. For my needs now, today, I don't need that. So we're going to skip out on that. Digital headphones, that would kind of go with that whole set. So we're going to skip it. We already got our all weather. We don't need that sunshade. We're not going to get any of those accessories. This is going to be the same ones that we looked at from the first build, from the base model we build, we built. Um nothing in here nothing in here i'm just going over it just to make sure i don't miss anything i do like those chrome door handles though i do like those chrome door handles um what else i did like that underbody skid plate right i did like the exhaust system by borla and its subsequent performance exhaust tips it's nice exhaust tips and then I think that was it. Yeah, this one came to 90 grand. Uh, what do we do? We spent that six and a quarter on the paint, and then we spent two thousand dollars to have this the Kona brown. But I think the Kona brown is attractive, and so we're going to option probably the rest of them out that way. You know, we did that same interior protection package, and then we did that radiant package because you know what? It's gr it grew on me. At first, I thought it was silly. But it's grown on me. I think it's worth it. Um, so this one racked out to ninety thousand dollars. I'm gonna save this build. Let's do that real. F okay, got that one in the books. Let's go back to trims. There we go. And let's select the premium luxury. Now that includes all of this stuff, plus what? Plus uh, the driver assistance package, the front LED cornering lamps, the illuminated exterior door handles, 
the rear seat entertainment would not okay so that's the one up on the roof right uh and selectable for it so four wheel drive is standard on this car on this particular model now on this one i didn't click the show more let's do that um so it had the theft deterrent package the power tilt sliding sunroof full color heads up display the rear camera mirror really honestly the luxury is probably the sweetest one right this is a sweet spot you got everything you probably want the luxury is probably the go-to i like the luxury but let's go ahead and build out this premium luxury okay let's build out this premium luxury it's starting at 86.990 it's four-wheel drive we got it we're gonna do our bronze dune we know that's six and a quarter you know we're gonna do the kona because i like it it's got a different set of wheels i i noticed real quick there we're gonna do that radiant package because it's hot yep looks good um we're gonna do our interior package it's gonna be the same options for each one but you're incrementally getting a different car really oh they throw different wheels those are a couple different wheels huh interesting interesting let's see what these look like remove oh you got to remove the whole radiant package no forget it see that's the whole thing with bundling yourself into the package but those wheels are attractive though they're okay they're okay um let's do our performance brakes all right because it's smart it's a big heavy vehicle let's do those power retractable steps let's do our which wasn't an option in the other two tiers that just became available right there we go sorry about that black mo yeah Oh, we got to remove the splash guards. All right, that's fine. Let's remove the splash guards. I'm sorry. Um, and then let's go to interior. Um, we got... Nah, we don't need any of this stuff. We don't need any of those things. We already got everything we need. We got everything we need. Let's go over to accessories. Okay, we're going to skip over all that hitch stuff. But there is what down here? The exhaust systems down here. Chrome door handles are down here. Um, the skid plates down here. Right? So let's do that exhaust tip. And then, yeah. And then the exhaust as well, of course. I just decided to do it backwards. But thank you for catching that for me. And then the rest of this is just hitches and stuff. So this one comes to 96540 I'm going to print it. I won't even go through this because when I print it out, it's going to have all this itemized for you if this is the one that you're interested in, if you like the premium luxury. So, which is a really nice one. 96,000. You're pushing 100K though, which is why you probably don't see many of these. I bet you see most of you that you see are probably luxuries and standards. I bet you most of them. Uh, let's, let's save this one real Okay. And last but not least, let's go build out that platinum. Let's go build out that platinum. Now, the Platinum comes with all the stuff we already have looked at on every other model. But now it gets a different kind of leather uh, from the front for the front seats. And then a different kind of leather in the rear. But surely the leather is better than the leathers in any of the other trim levels. All right. Then the leather wrapped instrument panel, console and upper door trim. You got the suede microfiber headliner and door pillar trim. 18-way power adjustability for driver and front passenger seat and massage for the driver three mode and front passenger two mode integrated center console cooler and then it's got a different set of 22 inch wheels it's got a unique grill so we're probably not going to do that appearance package and it might not even offer it for the platinum because it's so special uh it's got premium floor mats it's got a seven inch diagonal screen and front seat headrests oh, okay so it's fully loaded it's got the power retract. So what is there going to be to get is my question. All right, so we're going to do the platinum. Uh, let's go to colors. Bronze Dune. Looks like they have less colors, and you're not paying any extra for any colors. But why should you? We're already at 96000 Uh Well, there's the crystal white tricoat. You know what? I like the crystal white tricoat, too. We're, let's do this one in crystal white tricoat. Uh, we're going to do this one in jet black with jet black accents. Notice that you can't do the Kona. So the Kona was in the two middle level trims. So if you want to do Kona, you're not going to get a Platinum, FYI. Let's go to Packages. 
all you can get is the interior protection package. I didn't think, that's why I had just said too, I didn't think they were going to offer that whole appearance package because it's already got an appearance package on it. Um, and then it's already got those awesome wheels. We're not changing the wheels because none of these are really that cute. Um, we are going to do the brakes. Uh, we're not going to do that polished tip because we're going to do the ex we're going to do that Borla exhaust as well. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's make sure we catch these things. We didn't need anything out of interior. Skip over all this hitch stuff. Uh, where's the skid plate? Where's the skid plate? I think that's up first, isn't it? There's, there's the chrome door handles. I like them. Skid plate should be around here somewhere. There's the skid plate. Right? Uh, then the performance exhaust with the tips. Uh, we can skip over the rest of this stuff. Let's go to summary. All right, so really, we only spent $3,000 more. So the moral of the story is if you're going to get a premium luxury... Just get the platinum, because <laughs> you're gonna spend almost as much money. And if you're spending 96, what's the difference between 96 and 93? If you're spending 96, probably it's not gonna be a deal breaker. So this one came to just under a hundred thousand dollars, right? Great vehicle, probably the most iconic SUV, the most famous, most blinging SUV there is. So. I'm going to save this build as well. I'm going to save this build right here. I'm going to print it off. And like I said, I'm going to put all the links in the description below. So if you want to look at one of these specs, feel free to download one or all of them. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you found this helpful and entertaining. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay? Thank you.